It is showtime at Daughters of Truth. Welcome, 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 my brothers and sisters. Welcome to our show. Today is March the 19th of 2022. Can you believe you're already in March? Hmm. Before you know, it will be Easter. Before Easter, it will be summer. We start burning. So it's like time waste for no one. Every day, God tells us that we don't have time to be playing around. I hope we are well where we are. Um, we are happy to have you guys. Please help us to share, help us to subscribe, help us to like all these things that you hear all these uh, social media mogul tell you to do. Please help us to do it on our website. I mean, on our page, uh, you can see we are not well versed in this, so but we are trying to get up there. All we wanted to do is for our messages to get out to our people so that we can move. That's it. You know, we are not here to make money. We are not here to get anything or popularity out of it. We just want people to get information. The information we've been lacking for years, the information that the media in Nigeria took over and was selling us trash, and they will not mention things that will affect our lives. The information that our people that we thought went to Harvard and Yale supposed to be giving us, instead they will bring a bag of rice and a, a diesel oil for us to cook with in, uh, during Christmas time. So that is our main goal here, information powerhouse, to help you guys get information. Our show is like no other show. Again, we are not looking for popularity. It's even so important that the social media platforms, they are working their best to make sure that you don't hear this information. So you can see it's imperative, you know, that we do the needful, that we send this information out, that our people get to hear this, because all we are doing here is to uh, putting the puzzle together for you so that all those things you've been seeing for years that you thought, eh, I'm not really sure, we help you to make um, something out of it. So please help us to share, continue to share, continue to like, continue to subscribe. We are on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, we are on uh, Twitter, uh, all these other platforms. And if you know of other platforms that our people are using that we need to sign up for, Please do not hesitate to let us know. Um, so otherwise, we'll continue with the show. My name is Muna Chinisaga, and I have my sister here with me. I'm here in Houston, Texas. Sister, please go ahead. Thank you so much, Dr. Muna. Uh, we thank our people. We appreciate all of you. Um, every Saturday, you're here with us doing this work together. We love the teamwork. Please, like my sister said, help us to share, subscribe, like, hit the bell, <laughs> everything, do everything so that our people will come and hear this message. That's the only way you can participate with what they're doing. As we say, you're carrying the message out. We appreciate you. So my name is Equi Simon Okube, and I live in Lexington, Kentucky. I will give you food for thoughts. The dark-skinned humans, that's us have really been through a lot, mm. We've gone through a lot as a people, as a race, for years, decades, centuries. We've gone through a lot. So behind some of the smiles you see might be a life full of so much drama, pain, and sorrow. The smiles and the laughter and the dancing Maybe some coping mechanism. You never, you may never know. So please, let's begin to honor one another. Treat each other with kindness. Give ourselves some more um, self self value and self worth. Let's begin to recognize our skills. Begin to respect ourselves and our skills and our this we are doing. Because you know what. No one else will do it for us. Mm -mm. Thank you very much. And welcome. Thank you, me. sister. Thank you for that, food for thought. Uh, I think we're just going to spend a few minutes to share this information out. So give me a few minutes if you are on. Help us to share. So let's just use the first few minutes to forward this information to 10 other people that we know. At least 10 other people that we know so they can come and make sense of what is doing us, like my sister is saying. For years, we don't know what was doing us. So what we do here is to help us to put together what is doing us. Uh, welcome to the program once again. 
continue to help us to share this information is important. Very, very important. You can see how today's topic has to do with the politicians. They have taken us on a merry-go-round and most of us have become dizzy. We don't even know how to ask the right question anymore because we are in a dizzy spell. So we need to stop being dizzy and take the bull by the horn, especially when we understand what is doing us. So that's what we want to do today, to find out all these things that has been happening around us, that have been happening around us all these years that we couldn't make sense of so that we can make sense of it and move forward because nobody's coming for you. You can see how the superpowers are there back in like Chihuahua. There's a dog in America called Chihuahua, a tiny dog, that stupid dog. If you come close to the door where the dog was reside, he will be back and back and you will run back to your car and take off. You wouldn't even know it's a dog this big. <laughs> and it doesn't bite. If you have the courage to get there, the stupid dog will run away. <laughs> so all he has to offer is the barking. <laughs> so we need to do better for ourselves. Like my sister said in her opening statement, we need to take care of ourselves. We have been through a lot. We cannot afford to fight each other anymore. We cannot afford to undermine each other anymore. This is a time for you know peace, for forgiveness, for understanding, for us to come together. Whether you have done the unthinkable or whatever, this is the time to retrace your step, steps. We need to make this work. If not for our children, if not for ourselves, for our children. So let's do something for the first time in our life, but it's not about us, but it's also about those that we will never meet, our children, children to come. Please, our people, we are begging you. We are asking as mothers, as sisters, as daughters, let's get this right. You know, if we begin to take care of ourselves and love ourselves, then other people will be forced to love us. How can they love us when we don't love ourselves? So let's show that love with our character our even reply reply to things that you see on social media reply to things that you're hearing you know in our language we say with our actions with our plea now you everybody you're doing uh freedom fight whatever you're doing please let it not be about you anymore if you have been offended we ask for forgiveness come back home come back to the right place come back to the right platform. Let's talk at Tisiano to fix our father's land. Are we, the daughters, we cannot watch. We cannot watch when things are not going the right way. We cannot watch because then we are the one that will carry this pregnancy to term only for our son to finish to college at 21 and some random police will kill him or whatever. It's not even, we can't even phantom that. Let's do for ourselves, my people. You know, let's begin. My sister posted a very nice picture of people eating turkey on top of a table and the people are under. And she said, if the people will stand up, they don't have any choice than to end up a turkey party, right? Because if they stand up, the table will go up in the air. So let's begin to gather. Let's begin to gather, gather talk to each other, understand each other so that we can find fight a common enemy. So welcome to the program. Continue to help us to share. We are glad that you're here. Um, Welcome once again. As our topic says, uh, our uh, our politician agents of the West and the Caliphate. Well, a lot of us already have the answer to uh, that uh, question. Uh, it makes no difference who you vote for. The two parties are one party representing 4% of the people. According to Gore Vidal, who is an American writer, it's so funny that this man was describing this situation that you would think he's a Nigerian, but he was actually referring to American politics. Is this a coincidence? Or some people intentionally create the same scenario worldwide for their benefit. Globalization, colonization, feudalism, dictatorship, they all seem to share the same theme. That is, they are anything else but democracy. So all they do is to give us this facade that the more you see, the less, how do you say, the more you look, the less you see. We are always in a daze, like someone that has been a merry-go-round that will not stop. Politics to them is a situation where the sovereignty and resources of the people become their own properties. So we have some burning questions today that will help us to 
understand the attitudes, attitudes of these politicians. One of our questions today is that why are politicians more interested in preserving the colonial systems rather than their people? Why do they work hand in hand with the West slash the Caliphate to ensure that their biddings are done? Why are they more interested in implementing policies that strengthen the West financial and economic systems? We are talking about uh, World uh, Trade Organization, International Monetary Fund, instead of fulfilling their political mandate to their people. Why do our politicians in NAS want to smuggle, smuggle in Caliphate's Ruga to our land through their 2022 amendment, amendment to illegitimate 1999 constitution? Finally, why does the West help our politicians to keep their looted wealth and resources and turn blind eyes to their various atrocities against their people. So you can see, like we've always said on the issue, these people are business partners. We thought it's only Keken and Pep and bus drivers that is doing Abateke. It's, it's coming from the highest level. You know, it's coming from this practice, it's coming from the highest level. They will put in people in there that have no, that do not have our interests at heart. They will employ them basically employ them and give them give them their uh, own court. So while they, we showed you guys a video by Sander Anderson um, last week, Anderson, the pro Senator Anderson, how he told you they will always go there to cause war so that the corporates, uh, the corporates in the Western world will benefit. That's all it's all about. So imagine if we love ourselves first, if we understand ourselves uh, first, if we hold hands together first and speak the same language at all times that you can see that these enemies, they will understand that we know. Now, now we know what is doing us and we can speak uh, in one voice. Sister, go ahead while I put this up. Yes, when they know, because it's it's very easy. When somebody knows, like a criminal knows that you now know what he knows, <laughs> he will stop what he's doing. But if you're just ignorant, waiting for them, hoping for them, praying and saying, please now help us do this, do they will continue to do or even crying lamenting all day lament cry lament cry they will know that you are not even going to find out and they will continue to do what, what they're doing so please we are begging our people continue to share follow so that we we'll get this information out to our people because the more our people hear and understand what is going on the easier it will be for them to join in this force for us to do the right thing not exposing ourselves to them for them to kill us even the more. So Sister Mona is ready with this um this video. You see how the like she said, the West, they keep causing war and instability in Africa. And then all of a sudden, the same thing that they've been doing you know, all over Africa, nobody is talking, is happening in, U in Ukraine. And mm -hmm. all of them are crying as if Ukraine people are more human beings yeah. than the human beings in Africa. As mm -hmm. if the people that they've been killing in Africa are, are animals. Then the Ukraine people are the human being, the real human being. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, so you, thank you, sir. I'm curious about why are we paying attention to Ukraine and nothing else right now? And how that must feel to the folks in Central America who are migrating, to the folks in Africa who are dealing with six coups in 18 months. What's your take? <laughs> well, here on the continent, I think that the um, the sort of hypocrisy that one would feel um, coming out of the West is um, is is powerful, of course. I mean, in Nigeria and Cameroon, for instance, there are at least two million internally displaced people. There is a war, an all-out war in Cameroon with the English-speaking region. There's also massive conflict in Central African Republic. And yet, what we are seeing, there's also huge conflict with the military junta in uh, Burkina Faso. And yet, what we're seeing is that there's war wall to wall coverage of Western European nations and America 
with the Ukraine and Russia. But Russia has been wrecking havoc in the Central African Republic. They have been wrecking havoc in the last couple of months in Burkina Faso. And the former colonial powers are nowhere to be seen. There are Russian mercenaries called Wagner who are all yeah. over Africa and have enlarged their footprint. So this is this is a situation where our former colonial masters, the United Kingdom, uh, 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 France in particular, have decided that perhaps the spoils are not here enough right now, and perhaps we should turn our attention elsewhere. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I, I usually turn off the mute on my own side because it causes double voice, and then I will forget to turn it back on. Sorry about that. So I say we are showing this video to highlight what, what you know we know they've been doing. And they even got us all emotional. There were black people raising money to send to Ukraine. When I've never seen black people raising money to send to Ethiopia, to Somalia, to everything happening in Africa, to Mozambique. Now, because these people are like, they are literally stuffing this Ukraine thing in your nose. You can't wake up, you can't sleep without hearing Ukraine. So now we are emotional. We are trying to help Ukrainians when we know that nobody, none of them, I've ever thought about coming to our rescue. So we know what he's doing us. It's just that a lot of our people do not know what he's doing them. Mm -hmm. And that's why they keep getting themselves involved in Ukrainian, uh, almost a uh, World War III, as if we don't have World War going on in our continent. They will start something, start calling it a name. So we are going to, no, you will be Western wars. Nobody, no Africa, like my sister would say, will ever join those war wars anymore let them begin to war themselves we've had enough war we want to live a life where our children has plans you know to raise their own children think about retirement go on vacation come back live life like all these people around my neighborhood when i see them sometimes i feel jealous and i'll be saying look at this man he's here dragging his one million dollar dog he have never seen war he's about to go to, go meet his lord and savior when my people, all they have experienced all their lives, when I think about my poor mother, from the day she was born to the day she died, it was fight, fight, fight to struggle. I wonder what kind of God will judge her when she gets there. When you have set up a continent called Western world or America or whatever, you set, set another world in, called Nigeria, and you, they let hell lose in one end and leave heaven in the other side, and then you want to judge me at the end, what are you going to judge? <laughs> what are you going to judge when I was not given the opportunity to be my best? Sister, go ahead. You can say that again. Because, um, and let's not, not allow these things to scare us anymore. Like, oh, God is going to judge you. God is going to do this. God is not a bully. He's seen our suffering. He's seen what we're going through. So please, what you need to do, begin to do it. Because these people are not our God. They are not. And stop trying to view God from the story they told you or from their eyes. These colonial masters are monsters. Some people say they are colonial monsters. Don't try to view the world from their world view. We have our own world view. Use our own world view to look at God and look at the world. Do the right thing. Stand up to do the right thing. Because these people... You see, what will bring this thing from you, like for you, we'll show you what is happening outside our land. For you to understand that is a global thing. The people doing it know what they're doing. They are following a particular strategy. So you crying and whining and lamenting can never help us or saying, come and see us, so they're killing us, they're killing us. They wanted you to be killed. Mm -hmm. So why are you not lamenting and saying, come and see us, they are clean us? That is not the way forward. The way forward is information, information, information. So that you can know what is doing you. You need to know what is doing you. Because when you understand what is doing you, you will know how to tackle it. You will know the right strategy to use. You will know what not to do. There's another um, video we'll play for you. Because we're telling you, our topic said, these politicians, our own politicians, our own people representing us, are they agents of the West and the Caliphate? We need to examine it. We want to think, we want to reason, want we want to, to examine what they're doing. 
and then begin to understand what their mission is on our land. Are they really representing us? Or they have some people that they are representing. You and I will need to look inside it. So that the more you look, the more you see. Instead of the more you look, the less you see. Mm -hmm. So politicians, somebody is complaining about the politicians. What they are doing. This is a politician also. Nigeria that they set up for you, has it worked for you? Is Nigeria for you? That's the first question you ask first. Those that are saying one Nigeria, one Nigeria, I love one Nigeria. This is not sentimental, uh, being sentimental anything. No. Stop being sentimental. Stop being emotional. Oh, I love the name one Nigeria. We eat rice together. We eat jollof rice. We are dying. This is not about jollof rice of Nigeria. Please. There are serious fundamental issues to be tackled. It has nothing. To, it's not jollof rice issue. I beg you. And it's not uh, the other one that is dancing or people are dancing and singing. It's deeper than that. It's life and death issue. So listen to this man, and then we'll come back to you. We have not solved one single problem. One, even as the one listed in uh, O.A. Lawal that we have read. So when I go back to that book, it's still in existence. And see if we have solved one problem. Since which should be The Nigerian ruling class is more than wearing big and bad riding their condition cars and building mansions in a so and other places. We should be embarrassed that as a nation, we have not made progress decisively in any sector. And part of the problem is what is happening with us. We are talking about, we're going to be talking about our school children. We have governors with convoys of 20 cars, 30 cars. They are sending money to hire jobs, but they can even build schools for their children. They can see the children once a day. What are we talking about as a people? Let's take ourselves more seriously, take our country more seriously, and do the right thing at the right time to save the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. All right. Yes, we need to take our lives more seriously. We need to begin to take our lives more seriously. This is not bread and butter thing. It's not something that you go on social media uh, uh, shaking all the parts that God has given to you. It's deeper than that. You need to be thinking. You see, the politicians are hiring talks to kill the people. This war is actually between the politicians and the people. Our own politicians, our own people that are supposed to be representing us. That's the, that's the people that are setting us up for failure. Imagine these uh, cabals. These people that they call cabals, are they not human beings? To have the audacity to put club in our civilization, in our development, in our will of development. As we are planning on how to move forward, they are planning on how to keep us down. Imagine the audacity. But they have been, they are collaborating. Somebody, some people are collaborating with them. The people that are benefiting from the system. These oppressors are just 5%. But the people being oppressed are 95%. Hmm. So what is going on? How come they are succeeding? These political blockheads, political blockhead cabal, somebody called them, they are not even up to 5%, self. Why? How come we allow them to do what they are doing to us? As we speak, the National Assembly uh, people are finalizing their colonization plan for Nigeria. Them and the Fulanese. Mm. They are really agents of caliphate and the West. They are not representing you. If you think that those politicians at Abuja are there to represent you, then you have something else that you're thinking. You're not thinking straight. They're all think about their stomach, what is in their tummy. We have seen it now. These things are not hidden. They are not hidden. They are the ones sponsoring terrorism, banditry, <coughs> kidnapping, ritual killing, all devices in our land. They are the ones doing it because the more hungry you are, the easier it is for you to be manipulated and brainwashed. 
It's part of the strategy to keep you down, hungry, dejected, very poor. Because if they give small grains, throw small grains at you, you will follow and do their biddings. Mm. Let's look at this constitution amendment that they're talking about. They've done so many other things, but we're just looking at this one that is on the table. These people have the audacity to plan, to plot, to bring in foreigners, to settle in our land. When indigenous people in Yoruba, Alsa, I mean Yoruba, uh, Igbo mainly, are outside the shores, our people have been driven out through the Mediterranean Sea, through the desert, through the, our people are in different dungeons. There was the day we were doing one of this, our program. Somebody called us in the prison. He said, please, people should continue. He's been in prison for a while. That if we can finish this thing, he will come home. He wants to come home. That's the same thing for so many that can't even make calls. Our people are in dungeons. In Libya, everywhere, our children. These are our children. Nobody is speaking for them. The so-called representative Abike Dabiri and all the names they call themselves, they are out there. They are not doing something that will make these children to return. Rather, they are plotting to bring in foreign invaders into our land to replace our own children. They have our started, children. my dear. Yes, they're planning. They already have your Nigerian passport and the national IDs and all kinds of stuff. I can tell you. So are we not seeing these things? Our own children are scattered all over the world. Nobody is talking on how to put things in place to bring them back home. Look at the children in Ukraine. They refuse to come home. They say they better go somewhere else than come back tonight, even in the face of war. But some people open the borders in the north to bring in jihadist foreigners and to issue, to have the audacity to issue them name numbers, uh, uh, passports, passports, and everything. And passing laws in their stupid policy, uh, 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 National Assembly, to make them indigents after five years. And we are watching. <laughs> Look at what they did with the 774 local government that they created. These are mushroom local government areas. Mushroom indeed. Just like the 36 states that they created. You ask yourself, what's the purpose? To weaken the indigenous people. My Igbo people, look at us now. They reduced us to five states. But we are not actually only in five states. They carry the rest, put some in Benue, some in rivers, some in Delta, some everywhere. Why? Someone will say why. To make you weak. Because when you are scattered, you don't even know. Your brothers in rivers don't even know their identity anymore. If you tell them that they are Igbos, they will fight. I remember when uh, Olise, son Olise, in Delta, he said, I'm not Igbo. He nearly fought <laughs> because he was called Igbo. His name is Olise, Chineke. He said, no, that he's not Igbo. Why? That is the strategy that they're using to weaken the indigenous nationalities. So those of you that say, hey, I'm not Igbo. I'm a detribalized Igbo. Clap for yourself. You have identity crisis. That's your problem. Because like we have told you before, that the Americans are proud of being American. So why would you be proud of who you are? So we say, ah, no, it's just a tribe. Who made you a tribe? This is just like that, that Jesus, God looked at um, Adam. He said, Adam, Adam. He said, ah, I'm naked. God said, who told you that you're naked, Adam? Who told you, Igbo man? That you are a tribe, not a nation. Who told you? Yoruba person, who told you that you are a tribe and not a nation? Who told you that lie? What were you before the invaders came? Were oh. you not a kingdom, a nation that was functioning on its own, doing your business, had your banking system, economic system, culture, everything? They came and ruined it and scattered everything. This no. was your people all over the world. Mm -hmm. And you have the audacity to open mouth to validate what the vendors did. I said, and we are tribes. When you hear anybody saying that, know that they are all agents of the West and caliphate. 
We'll give you another example of what they did with senatorial seats. When we began, you know, each state is supposed to have three senatorial states, senatorial seats. Lagos, for instance, three. Sokoto, three. Kanu, three. But as time went on, all of a sudden, between Sokoto and Kanu, they now have 18 senatorial seats. <laughs> Why Lagos? Money sharing scheme. Uh -huh. Exactly. Why Lagos with about 25 million people have just three senatorial seats? I'm saying this for those that are saying, no, let's not do anything. Let's take this thing to National Assembly. They will do the change there. They will vote and change. There is unequal representation. There is nobody that will vote anything that will make sense for your life. That's the same thing that doing with local government area that they're creating. This is the sit down doing. This is not by accident. It's not coincidence. It's by design. By design. And they have an intention and they have a purpose. And you know what? That intention is not for your good. And it's not for the good of your children either. It's not for the good of your grandchildren or great grandchildren to come. Generation unborn, they have been sold. And who is selling them? Who is helping them? Your politicians. Who are these politicians? Your brothers, your sisters, your aunts. Swear to your God. Mm -hmm. And you are there hailing them and saying, Oh, he's doing well for himself. Do you know the new car he brought? That new car is the money they would have used to build hospital for you. It's money they would have built roads for you. It's money they would have used to build schools for your children. That's why you see that the bill for their children to come back and school in our land failed. But the bill to divide and conquer you through their local government system Past, unhindered. <laughs> and you know what? Why all these are going on, the West will turn a blind eye. Why are they turning a blind eye? Because it's to their own benefits. Yeah, so and you say, and you, the citizens, are turning a blind eye too. Also. Mm -hmm. So the West are benefiting from it. Tell me how. They need you out of your land. They want your resources. So anything that this, your misrulers, we do, that will make you to get out of your land, they will hail them. And any leader that you vote in that will make you stay in your land and make your land to prosper, they will, you will hear their school. They will remove the person. They will say, oh, it's corrupt. It's this. They're not lacking story to tell you. And then they will put the type of person that will do the work they want. So please, we cannot continue with this our cry, cry, baby. Cry, 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 cry. Crying is not a strategy. Lamentation <laughs> is not a strategy. Please, we need to begin to work together. In the indigenous plan that we have, there is an indigenous plan. Because we can't use the plan of the white man. The West, you can't use their plan. There is an indigenous plan. Like Aburi that we had, that was an indigenous plan. They destroyed it. They made sure it did not work. So we have brought out another indigenous plan by Nina's, Nina's proposition. Read that plan. Read that strategy. Try to understand it. This is not political. This is not, oh, this is our group. Our group is doing this one. This group is doing this one. Everybody be doing your own group and we will get there. Help. No, everything cannot be right. Mm. This is the same geographical space we are talking about. There must be a plan that is superior to all the other plans. Well thought out plan. Yes. So it's your responsibility to be unbiased. Examine these plans. Examine these things. Every noise you're hearing, examine it and say, where is this thing taking us to? Stop allowing yourself to be distracted by Ukraine-Russia war. The only reason that war has not turned into Third World War is because you, Africans, have not joined. The First World War, Second World War, the only reason it was World War is that they will start the war and bring you in as Africans, to come and fight it and say, no. my people, my people. But if you say, we are not joining, we are not bringing our soldiers, we are not bringing our resources, it will never be World War. So stop allowing them to scare you. Oh, third World War is coming. Third World War is coming. Third World War is not coming. You will stop the Third World War. If they want to kill themselves, they should kill themselves. After all, Africans have been dying. 
it's time to fix Africa. It's not time to open, go and fight the white man's war. He started the war. He should fight it and close it. And maybe they will learn not to be fighting. <laughs> yeah. Every time they start war, you go and fight for them. And then your people will die. And when your people die, my father fought, my grandfather fought First World War. My father fought Second World War. But I come here, they say, veterans, if you're a family of veterans, stand up. I can't even stand up. Mm -mm. And there's because benefits. So, there's, yes. There are benefits associated with it. He's huh? not a veteran. His book is not even in the, his name is not in the register of people that fought the war. Mm -mm. Yet he's, I saw his discharge certificate when they told him, oh, you speak good English. You did it, did it. That's the end. And we buried him with all his medals. <laughs> all his medals, all of them, we buried them, we buried him with all. That's my nephew. God, that God will so identify him as the stupid African. And I'm telling you, <laughs> my nephew is so upset. He's in Canada. He said, How come I hear that my grandfather did all this? Nobody's rewarding him. Nobody's even recognizing our family as being part of the veteran family. Yet my father did all this. You see? They use it. They don't even treat Again. them. Give them therapy. So heal. But to the black people that went to war for them here, yeah, when they came in, white people descended on them and hung a whole lot of them for thinking they're they like, oh, now you think you're a man because you went to World War. They was, uh, maybe next time I'll post that video in our platform. Mm -hmm. They literally mm -hmm. run them up like, you know how you go for rodeo roundup and roundup animal and death with them for thinking they're that mad weakness. enough to fight World War. You're watching that weakness, greatness. Oh. I'm actually keeping quiet and following these people. Follow, 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 follow. No! You finish the war, ordinary therapy they won't even give you. Our people will go back home and start suffering post-traumatic stress disorder. Nobody's even treating them. And then I say, oh, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, his head is not okay since he came back from war. The family will be the ones to suffer it. Oh. Beating the wife and the children. Meanwhile, he just needed therapy. He's been disturbed by what he saw. The war that he did not bring. The war that his ancestors did not bring. Another man's war. He went to fight it. And you know what? Most of the war is for the resources in your land. So you go and fight with somebody to come and steal the resources in your land. My father, my God, how did we land here? My I brothers and sisters, it's time to use sense. There's no third world war. Because we are not going to join it. We are more sensible now. We have enough war in Africa. We want to fix the war in Africa. Fix the situation in Africa. We are not going to fight the war that criminals are, are, are sparking up all the time. Please go ahead, Sister Mona. <laughs> Just My dear, you, you explained that well. So the next video that we are going to play is when we talk about this 1999 constitution, people are still confused. People are still don't understand what we mean. They're even promoting whoever they want to promote, saying they are talking about good governance and this and this. But at the end of the day, in order for you to take that so-called position, you have to raise your right hand up in front of anyone to uphold the constitution of Nigeria. So after you I uphold, swear. you swear, swear to you. uphold. <laughs> when you swear and you uphold, how then are you going to help us to bring it down? Please don't want them. Can you all help me? Can the church say amen? Can we understand that these people are still spinning that merry-go-round with the highest speed on us? And they will come looking like you, speaking like you, smiling like you. Even sometimes they will give each other dirty slaps in between. But nothing changes. My people are still in hell. And all we are asking is for us to gather under the table where these people are eating our turkey, and lift up the table with any need I hope for Cassia honey you hmm? so let me play this next video and you can see what we are talking about here to solemnly swear to solemnly swear that I will be faithful and dear to our leaders that I will be faithful and dear to our leaders to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will preserve, and that I will preserve, protect, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, okay. and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me, God. So help me, God. <laughs> 
Did you even see the man holding the camera when he said, I will defend, protect? His camera almost fell off his hand. Do you guys see what we are talking about? That we are still in square one, my people. Aru. Aru. Eh? So what we did now was, you know, when you have a screwdriver, you put it and tighten the knot even tighter. I mm. will swear, or I have, I'm swearing to protect and defend and fight and protect yes. the Nigerian constitution and for its republic for which it stands. My sister, Biko Kowaram, help me understand. <laughs> my dear, all Kowaram, we know now. This thing has explained itself. Now my people are clapping. The slaves. Hey, hey, he has won it all. All swear, good near. What may go? You see, we're not saying that you should go and slap Soludo since it's a moment of slap, slap you. We're not going to use slap to slap out of this one. Slap is not a strategy. Mm -mm, slap is not strategy. <laughs> I'm not telling you to go and slap Soludo or his wife or, her, or his wife or his children. No, we are saying that these people's hands are tied. Once you vote them in, they will have to swear to uphold, to keep, to make sure, to kill you if you ever try to do anything otherwise. It's what they swore. So their hands are tied. Sister Queen, their defense, we can't even blame them because they are there in the public forum telling them what they're going to do. Exactly. And I'm you're there you. clapping. You and probably you start and ate the rice afterwards. Exactly. And then when they start killing you and you cannot afford a bag of rice or dairy for your children, you start calling God. Though. There is God. Though. Mm -hmm. So where were you and the God when you are clapping for someone that said, I swear to protect something that is going to continue to kill you and take you out? You see, my people, when we say that we have to add one plus one to get two, some of you are saying that no age, age mm -hmm. is a uh, uh, middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're not getting it you're not getting it there is a strategy on the table that gives power to the people back because sovereignty belongs to the people you looking to me listening to us sovereignty belongs to you not to the politicians those ones have been sold out their hands are tied even if they have good intention to deliver you they won't be able because they have sworn to uphold it so the politicians are not accountable to you mm -mm. or anyone. Because you know why? He didn't put them there. The people that put them there gave them what to swear to make sure. Yeah, it's, only, it's not only IPOB that swear and take oath. The politicians also took oath to full and caliphate to Nigeria to uphold and keep what is killing their people. So you see, you can't hold them accountable. Everything that is evil in that constitution, they have sworn to keep it in its entirety. They can't touch any part of it. So rather, what they will do is they will be manipulating you. While all that is going on, they will do you the more you look, the less you see. If you talk like this, they talk like that. You talk like this, you talk like that. From generation to generation. Mm. That's why after 50 years, you have not achieved anything manipulating you and then they will bring the church in to brainwash you so that you'll be Ekene Maria Jupitana Gracia every morning hallelujah praise the Lord that's all you're doing you just go mass or toto you just go mass after after me hey I'm gonna mass evening have you done night vigil mm, yes that's what you'll be doing around 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 like rats that's what you'll be doing by the way we thank uh, Bishop uh, Obina of worry for standing up for the first time to say don't take us to any election until we resolve how we are living hmm. that's what we want the church to be saying no brain now we want equa methodist anglican pentecostal pentirasta and um, all of you get all your leaders to be saying the same thing that bishop obina is saying otherwise our children are hungry <laughs> yeah, he's holding yeah, them. Coming, oh. We heard they're burning down, down houses, so we're not begging. So you. Don't think you're the only burning down the houses of miscreants. They exactly. are coming. Do the it's right thing. 
do the right thing, no. You don't know what is coming next. response into Ukraine that yes. was set up by your own people. Do the right thing, no. Huh. You don't know what is coming. Mm. They will go from burning down the houses of politicians to burning down those your churches. Those churches that you you contributed money. Since I was small, they said they were building cathedral at at nature uh, at nature. That when they finish contribute uh, building cathedral, they will stop collecting money from people. And then after they start to tell them again that they should buy Mary Sumner, that when they finish building Mary Sumner house, they will, it does not end. They keep collecting money from my people from morning till night. At least in this America, we have social system, social security number that you put money inside. If you lose job, it will take care of you. That's what the essence of social system. If we put into it, if anything happens to you, it will take care of you. Not to the church. The church is a grave. After they do the church, you keep throwing inside, you swallowing it, what, what, sucking it, mm. vacuum cleaner. Oh, it can, it can jab. Yes, <laughs> it can jab. Oh, lawyer, oh, lawyer. So the church in Nigeria just swallows, swallows, and we never protect the people. We never hold the, 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 the politicians to, to accountable. People like Mbakas, the Bubemo, Sunday more, Bubendi more. All these people, stop being emotional with them. Help. You need to tell them to stand up. Because they are the ones that bring these politicians into the church and pray for them. And pour granite oil on top of their head. Oh, and I think, oh, yeah. On top of their head. And people like a fire, they will raise hand and say, Amen! We saw when this thing was starting. This kidnapping, we told you that these politicians are the ones doing this kidnapping. You remember when they kidnapped uh, Chris Ngige, a sitting governor? They kidnapped him. That's how this madness started. They now found it that it's a good business. This, this thing that is going on in Ebola and Southeast, everywhere, all over Nigeria, is the politicians that are doing it, that are the criminals. Because they send them to do it so that we will be very poor, there will be anarchy, there will be this, and then they can take over everything. They can colonize you. That together with the colonizers, your politicians, are yeah. together with the colonizers. Internal and what colonizers. is making it possible? The 1999 constitution. Mm -hmm. We'll give you another example. What is happening in the Southeast? Our people started Biafra struggle intentionally by themselves because they want freedom. But you know what? The politicians hijacked it. They hijacked it, brought their agents to be making noise for them. That's why you're seeing the killing, the carnage going on in Southeast. What is happening in Southeast does it not resemble what happened in what is happening in Northeast? Can you not put it together? The Boko Haram in Northeast, is it not the same? Does it not look the same? They deceive the people of Northeast and North. We tell them that they are bringing Sharia, that there's corruption everywhere, that when they bring Sharia, there will be everything will be good. The people just wanted a good system. They deceive them. The Shetima Sherima or the Rerima that introduced Sharia up north, it was just politics he was doing. He was still busy carrying his women, <laughs> drinking his alcohol inside kettle, going on with his life. Why are the people that are cutting their hands? It was all political. They continued until those people they set up. They set up the Boko Haram by themselves to win election. They got out of hand and started killing everybody. That's what is happening. And why that was on, Good luck was sitting there and he was begging Hillary Clinton and the Americans that this is terrorism. Let's curtail it. Hillary Clinton say, Good luck is your problem. Go and deal with it. Good luck trying to get ammunition. They blocked it. He went to South Africa. They blocked it. Who is doing us? Who is doing us, my people? Let's stop speaking English and begin to think to understand what is happening to us. Who is doing us? Hell. Now, with what is happening in Southeast, you see no investments will come in. All the people say, Akurono. Akurono, where there's fire in the mountain. <laughs> Who is taking that? He, he must be mad. Mm. He must be a mad businessman that will look at what is happening in Southeast and say, I want to invest. If mm. you want, bring 20 soludos and put inside. It has to be like you're mad. Mm. Why? Because when there's killing, cannibalism, kidnapping, people are running out of Anambra states. People are relocating from Southeast. People are taking their businesses out of Southeast because you need peace to invest. 
it's, it's a it's a no-brainer. It's just security, brainer. yes. You need security to invest. You can't see where there's war going on. You say, Yes, I want to bring in my <laughs> <home."> <laughs> Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Hey, Monemo. Hey. And stop allowing these colonial monsters to take us for a ride and play us like pom 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 as if they're playing ball. They are doing the same thing, killing and sacking the owners of the land. That's the strategy. Killing and sacking the owners, the indigents of the land, and replacing them with foreign invaders. That is it. As you are running out, because they will put fire in the land. Fire, fire. Then as you are running up and down like rat that saw fire, you are running out. They will be bringing their own people. That's why you have in Northeast all the ID camps and everything. Oh, yeah. And you'll be renting because you would think, oh, somebody wants to rent a house that I abandoned, you will rent it. It's the full and is renting it. And then is buying the ones you want to sell. And exactly. they're taking over, like the, the whole demography is, uh, demography yes. is changing yes. right in front of you. Yes. And I would that this is strategy for them to chase us out. And it's even going to be worse now that the Westerners don't want uh, Russian oil. Yeah. And I have this in our land. Exactly, for sure. and our gas. And our gas. So if they will have to put explosive there or nuclear weapon to blow you guys out, out of that place, is better. Yes. Imagine if we are strong enough. Hmm. And holding the people that is speaking on our behalf, those hmm. animals that sit on the table with them, and we are putting fire in their behind while they are speaking, you know they will say the right thing. Yes. But if we leave them in this current situation, I don't Don't worry about coming back. Just go ahead and drown at the Mediterranean Sea and get it over with. Hmm? It's over. But I would say if you're going to die, make your life meaningful. Go and do something meaningful that you will be remembered. Don't go and soak yourself in the water. Hmm. It's sad. It is I'm sad. telling you guys, amen. all these things, they are interrelated. They are, none of them is happening in isolation. No, no, no. no. It's all no. by design. And we're telling you they are using your church, their churches to keep your mind cool and believe in God for rapture, which we told you rapture. You only you will be raptured. He gave disappear and the world. <laughs> hmm? They are telling you all these BS. They are taking you to all the occasions. Say, I say, get money, you got swearing in. When somebody is saying, I'm going to swear to protect the one thing that is killing you, and you're enjoying it everywhere, my dear. You guys are in it too. We are doing this as mothers for our people to wake up. Yep. We are doing this as sisters for our people to wake up. We yep. have nothing to gain, no. Mm -mm. We are not looking for popularity or no. to be a professional. We are just saying that we want to restore our father's land. Finish. We're just saying that we want to be able to leave an inheritance for our children, just like the Bible dictated that a good father leaves an inheritance for yes. the children and generation to come. What are you leaving? Can we think beyond ourselves? Can we stop being being like, oh, uh, this person is doing this, this person, or would they buy a kind of? We're not even going that side. The cha -cha -cha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If my father's land is in correct position, who will know what from me again? Come, and he's on speaker. Come and get me. I'm telling you. If you fix my father's land, I will go past the same thing. What else do I do? Sleep, right? Yes, so I can't get enough sleep. I have sleep disorder. My dear, when, <laughs> when you're sleeping, you're, you're like you're on top of the whole world. Yes, we love to rest, sleep, have fun. But we want, we cannot be doing that while our father's land is burning, while our people are being dispersed. Like when you bring fire to be beehive. All the bees everywhere. That's what is happening to you, my people. There's somebody is aiding it. It's partnership. The people in your land representing you. Okay, look at it now. All the people that say they're representing you. Are they not living in Abuja and Lagos? Are they living in your land? <laughs> That's why they can afford to set your land on fire. Because your land is a mining land. It's a land full of resources. You are not supposed to live there. You are supposed to be dispersed and sent away from it. And then the people that are here, the real criminals will come in full force and take it over. So if you are helping them and say, I want freedom, I want freedom. And the only way you can get freedom is to kill your own people. You know the people that are evil, the real people, but you leave the real people. Then my poor people that are living from heart to mouth, 
They are the ones you want to kill. Are you looking for freedom? They're not looking for freedom. Yeah, because the poor people are not the one holding you down. You know who is holding you down? You know it. You know who is coming to Houston to buy all the real estate? Mm -hmm. eh? You know your governor, Obiano, has all this, uh, close to medical center. He bought almost three units of uh, high rise. And they pay cash. And they pay cash. We know who is doing us. So you will leave them, you go and get Mama and Kechi that is trying to cook rice in order for her children to eat. So you go and sell and Imagine kick her rice up in the air. Imagine the madness. Hmm. Because of Murumiri. Murumiri that will not allow you to reason properly. <laughs> leave my people alone. If you want freedom, you know the people to hold. Mm -hmm. Not my people. My people are already beaten and out. Down and out. Nothing to eat. As they go out to get food, that's all they can eat. But you're a coward. You will not go and meet the real people. You start flogging and killing my own people. Because you're a coward. I said it, yes. You're a coward. You're a terrorist. Because it's only terrorists that attack women and children. Real men go after real, the real enemies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As is there. All the places there. The full enemies are everywhere. You're not going after them. You go to my people. And be running after them, killing them and their children. Are you not helping the enemy? That's what we're saying. Please begin to think. You see what is happening in Northeast? How they are killing them every day, like cows and goats, slaughtering them. You see the videos. And they will displace them and put them in small, small IDP camps. And they rename their lands and give to foreign people. So if somebody is telling you that he's solving the problem, the first thing will be to replace the people back in their communities. Exactly. That's the first step that will show that this person is serious. You don't need the election to make this correction, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Anybody that is telling you that you have to vote him in before he makes this correction is a criminal. Yes, we said so. It's simple. People are being displaced from their communities. And Put into ID camps. We say, if you are serious and honest, the natural thing to do is to chase out the people that came in, taking their lands and communities and renaming it, chase them out and put them back in their communities. That's what you will do. But I know you wouldn't do it because you are agents of the West and the Caliphate. I'm just telling my people so that they will know. Please go ahead, to Samuna. My dear. What, this next video for you, there are landmines. You see, 2023 election is a landmine. It will blow up. Before, during, after. It, that's it. Yes, as as in all. I'm sorry, go ahead. They are the same. So we we'll listen to our brother to give us an idea of what is happening and what will happen. We're coming when he finishes. We'll continue to talk. Please pay attention, please. All this and commotion continues uh, in the journey to 2023 election by people who are not willing to listen, people who are not uh, asking the constitution by which the winner of the election will go including civil society and political parties, all kinds of uh, individuals. Nobody is asking the constitution, constitution by which the winner will govern. Nobody, Nobody is asking what will change when, after the election, a new set of people come. The fundamental flaw, the pretense that we have submitted our sovereignty to be one indivisible political union will remain in the preamble to that constitution by which they will swear, by which they will govern. Therefore, our sovereignty will still be detained. The 36 state structure that make it impossible for any development to happen, that, that tilt the representation in the place of decision making in Abuja in favor of those who fractured us into 36 states from four regions, will remain in place. The 774 local government areas that were carved out by those who were trying to get some more of the commonwealth for themselves, who will still remain in place, compounding the, the, the question of uh, uneven representation 
and the skewed resource uh, allocations because between the two, you suffer from the place of representation and decision making. That's the National Assembly because it's three senators per state and uh, roughly 10, uh, you know how it is, that uh, how we came about the 360 members of the House of Reps and the 109 uh, senators uh, we have. So it, 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 comes to, it comes to where those who are not listening now about the need to stop the journey to the election to go and fix the union agreement. Because if we don't, those who are now who are, who are fed up, those who are being killed, those who now see Nigeria as a union of death, union of uh, you know backwardness, are going to continue. It doesn't matter whether we get to election or we crumble at election or we wobble on past the election. Those issues will not go away. The solution to the situation is to stop now before the election to go to solve the problem. The purpose of this broadcast is to open our minds, uh, like in, in the form of survey, the road to that 2023. What are, the, what, are, what, what are we to expect in the kind of disputation in the union dispute that have been declared since uh, 2020, 16 December, the constitutional force majeure? What are we to expect going towards that election? in the midst of those uh, disputations. What are we to expect should things proceed to the election itself? Because the people who are throwing up uh, all kinds of things about how they will become, uh, you know, what new thing they will do if they become president or they, they seize power or they get power. Again, uh, they, are, they, 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 they don't seem to be interested in listening to the, the, the the cries of those who have been killed, the cries of those whose assets have been seized by this constitution by which uh, that election is being conducted, they, are not, they don't seem interested. And so we, we're looking at what are the things that could go wrong before that election? What are the things that could go wrong during that election? What are the things that could go wrong after that election? So that people can come back to the prescription what did we tell everybody we should do? We are not doing it now because uh, they can generate noise. Uh, they've stolen enough money to throw around and all of that. And so if we look back at 1966, how did we get at January 15, 1966? I want the older generation to listen carefully. I want the younger generation to ask those who may be in a position to know, the older generation. How did we arrive at the collapse of the union, the Federation of Nigeria, that happened in 1966. How did we arrive there? Let us remember that it was it was the suspension of the constitution of the Western region on the 29th of May in 1962. Unconstitutionally, the unconstitutional suspension of the constitution of the Fed of the of the Western region on the 29th of May in 1962 that led to the situation that developed, that became wide, wide west. Elections came. Because that means one leg, because there were only three regions at the time, one leg of the uh, three had been fractured illicitly. And so instead of going to fix that situation, they refused, and elections came, and they went on. So we can manage it. The outcome of that election be, you know, uh, uh, was that nobody could govern the western region of Nigeria, and on uh, as they were as they were trying to put down the fire, another election came because uh, the the regional and the federal elections uh, happened uh, one year apart. Another election came, so it was just a matter of refusing to resolve the constitutional dispute, waiting for election to come to meet because the election is like, you know, uh, fear in the kind of disputation, uh, you know, the union disputation that the election can only cause fire. It, it increases tension. And so that election met that unresolved constitutional situation, disputation, and then uh, the union went up in flames.
we are going to share this video in its entirety in our Facebook page. Uh, you can see the problem has been ongoing. This is nothing new. It's just that people are not paying attention. They don't want to pay attention, but they're they asking God, where are you? Can you guys leave God alone? <laughs> Can you all leave him alone? Because he must be so disgusted by you guys. The problem is, look, we are here. Look, we are here. You're being there. Just see, look, where the problem is here. 1999 Constitution. We have seen our brother Saludo that we are dancing for and praising for and praying for and all that stuff. Saying that he will protect and pretend and uh, defend and destroy because of the 1999 Constitution. Can't you see that we have to get it right before we go anywhere? I'm so frustrated, sister. Go ahead and speak. This we have to get it right. It is us that will get it right. Not our employees. We have employed these people. That's the position, the space. Unfortunately, the people filling the spaces, the management team, are being recruited by our enemy. Even our Ohaneze. Even now they want to now recruit even our local government chairman, even our eways, even our 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 our, uh, our PGs. So they will put these people in place. But we are saying that one thing is making them able to do this, the 1999 constitution. And we are saying that you saying that we want to wait so that the people at National Assembly will help us and change the constitution. You are lying to yourself. And we say stop lying to yourself. One, the National Assembly people do not have the mandate to make constitution. The constitution is made by the constituents, the owners of the land, the owners of the company. They will make the constitution, not the criminals that some people put in place. You are only telling yourself lie. And we're saying, except the 1999 constitution goes down, your land and your resources will not go back to you. It will never go back to you. What you continue to hear is one type of deceptive uh, lie or the other. They will keep telling you what we call in Igbo land. Akoko mbagaba, ajambene mbagaba, ajambene. That's what you'll be hearing. The politicians will be telling you that story. Mbagaba, ajambene. And you continue to hear it. And there will be one deception after the other. When you think, oh, we are getting it right, they will go and form another thing from under that you won't even know. Even when you vote the best person, that best person will swear to uphold the evil that they are doing. And it won't be his fault. It's you. You don't understand what is doing you. That's why what is going on is still going on. So you can see the current amendment they are doing that National Assembly will not help you. They are agents of the West and Caliphate. They, don't, they have sworn to represent them, and there's nothing they can do. They have been sent to weaken the indigenous peoples through their malicious policies. Remember the Land Use Act. Remember the Waterways Act. All this, the list is endless. They will continue to tell them what to do, and they will do it, and they will not have choice because they have sworn to do it. They don't have choice. And then the church, which originated from the West also. We're not saying that, you know, Bible is not from the West. I hope you know. You just came to them and they used it to do business. So we are not fighting against the Bible. No, we are telling you that it's being used to manipulate our people intentionally. And what you need to do is to study that Bible by yourself. So that when somebody tells you, if I slap you on this side, bring the other chick so that I'll slap you back. You will slap the person for saying it. <laughs> <laughs> you become the anchor and slap the person for saying it. For dry, allowing the mouth to, to drive too rough. You know, when your mouth to drive, they might reset your brain with something. <laughs> so our traditional leaders or rulers, our warrant chiefs, they are being paid. Their salary is coming from the caliphate and the West, so they can help you. Have you seen my people? So... And they are the ones, these traditional rulers are the ones that will show the caliphate and the way the choice land. You know, do you want the land that has milk and honey? See it there. Do you want the land that uh, the cow will eat and be fine? This is it. Because that's what they're pay, being paid for. They are paying them to do that. So have you seen that? You, the people, you are completely on your own. What we say, or you for you. You are on your own. So please, let's put ourselves together. We must bring down this book of Lucifer. It needs to go down. And somebody will say, okay, what is the way forward? The way forward is very simple. 
Because thank God, some intelligent people had worked on our behalf, finished it and kept it. Say, look at it. Oh. Look at this solution. That's what it is. And as we speak, this package solution by Ninas is being examined even by the West. Because I know they're mad. But sometimes when you talk to them, there are some of them, every, all, all of them in the West are not completely criminals. Uh -uh. It's just like in any society, you will have good people and bad people. It's like that everywhere. And that's why at the introduction, he heard what Sister Muna said. That, that person was coming from an American person saying it. So Nines was able to meet with some right-thinking people in America and in some other places. So they're working with us. The next thing we need to do is to shut down the 2023 plans for election. We are not saying boycott election, my goodness. We are not saying boycott election, no. Because if you boycott election, they will still get candidates in. Please send this message to everyone. Everyone listening to me. Nina did not say boycott election. And we don't want to be hearing it on our platform. When anybody is coming to come and say, oh, if we boycott the election, we are not telling you to boycott the election. We told you that where that word boycott the election came from was one criminal that tried to plagiarize the Nina's proposal because he wanted to use it to make money. And I'm not ready to call the name of the criminal. You know the criminal if you have been following us. So that's what we're saying. We are talking about shutting down the whole system. Nina's has made the job easier for us. And then some people also said, let's go and do this and repudiate the 1999 uh, constitution. It has been done. 2015, they did solemn assembly at Port Harcourt so that the people in, North, uh, in, in Lower Niger territory, they repudiated it. They came together and repudiated that 1999 constitution. In 2017 at Ibadan, Yoruba people, the Southwest, they repudiated it. For those that are thinking that Ninas is working against Yoruba, oh, Tony Ninas is working, please stop all these lies. It will not help you anywhere. You spreading lies will not help you. Rather, it will make it easier. You will make it easier for you to present yourself for full and needs to come and kill your people. That's what's going to happen. If you continue to fight against Ninas just by not knowing and not understanding, because some people are. And don't care to know. And don't care to know, because it has happened to Southeast. If you look at what is happening in Southeast now, you better use it. I'm speaking to our brothers and sisters in Southwest. If you look at what is happening in Southeast now and not East, these are freedom fighting gone wrong. Why? Because the West and the Caliphate will always select some people in our midst, make them to turn stories and carry uh, uh, propaganda against the, yes, yeah. against the real proposal. As a result, it will lead to death. Nina's proposal, it will not lead us to death if you are following it. But if you go and twist the Nina's proposal and do what we call plagiarism and then turn around all the things that Nina is saying to favor you so that you receive fame and money, whether you're Yoruba or Igbo, if you do that, you will expose your people to death and arrest. They will kill you and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Because this proposition was people sat down and thought about it, well thought out to protect we, the people. So all the landmines, they escaped it. They went to another place. So like we're saying, this uh, 1999 constitution has been repudiated in all the blocks. And then we have what you call the Freedom Park Proclamation, where collectively we came together collectively in 2018 December to say, we are not going to be ruled by this 1999 constitution as the people, all the people in the South. And then on December 16th, 2020, we did what you call constitutional force majeure. When we said no completely to this union, we told the world that we have not formed the union and that the union we formed has gone bad. And since we have not formed union, nobody should be telling us about doing this and doing that. Now, the first thing we need to do is to sit down and form a union. Because the one we form, when people that are used to, like we tell you that the constitution is a social contract. Constitution stands based on certain principles and certain grounds. 
If those principles are violated, then it makes the contract non and void. My goodness, I'm not a lawyer and I know this thing and we have lawyers in the land. What is wrong with you people? If you have a, co a contract, that contract is based on certain principles and conditions. If those conditions are no more viable, then the contract has been nullified. Some of those conditions is introduction of Sharia in 19 states in the mm -hmm. law was intentional. Mm -hmm. Nigeria was supposed to be a secular union. They introduced Sharia in it. They nullified that union by doing that. The massacre going on, killing our people. By killing our people, they are nullifying that contract. Then they are bringing foreigners into our land to invade us. By doing that, these are circumstances that are not within the agreed, the terms. So you are nullifying it. And that was what we did with the consumer force merger to say that this contract is non and void, that we will not be governed by it anymore. The job has finished. And as a result, even the West, they are waiting for us to say we are not going for any election. If yes. we, say we don't have union, if we say this contract is not and void, why are you going to do election under that contract and start swearing to uphold it? <laughs> is, an mad? is somebody running mad? Hmm. We say this document, we are not going, it, it's not and void, it has been destroyed. And meanwhile, I had a, uh, is it a very big, what does, what that stupid man's name? Sorry, I had to call him stupid because I don't know what to say. We told you that when you remove this thing, that there is going to be a transitional government in place, like they did in South Africa, 1990. It has been done before. And Abari by say, when they remove the constitution, what will be in place? What will they be doing? And these are the people representing us. Hey, what? what we're saying. That mm -hmm. the best of us are not representing us. This West and Caliphate chose the worst of us to represent us. That's why the best of us are out there working for the West, working for all the other people, building their society up for them. While the worst of us are in charge of our estate. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense, my people. Your so-called representatives and governors and whatever you call them, they can pick the worst of us. The people that even if you have a company, won't even give them to manage. That's why you see. Yeah, you wouldn't even allow them to open the gates because they will I'm telling you. Come in, they will let the gates slam into your customer's car. Exactly. That's why you see they cannot do any other thing but that politics they're doing. They can't manage anything. They're not creative enough to set up any other thing. No, they can't think. It's only that criminality they're doing. That's the only thing they can do. And it's your responsibility to go and meet your so-called rep rep representatives, those governors, explain the Nina's proposition to them. We're not telling you to go and kill them. What has happened has happened. You, listening to us, we go and meet them. Call them on the phone, those in diaspora, because you're the ones sponsoring them. You're the ones sending money to them. These churches, all these people, you, the people, are the ones putting these people in place. So it is your response. You are the employer. It is your responsibility to say, hey, hey, one now come here, let's discuss. Have you heard of Nina's? Did you hear about the pro proposition? This is what we are going to do. Because you know what? This center is going to collapse. You see, this Nigeria is collapsing. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Nobody can. Chinua Chebeto say things fall apart. This <laughs> the center cannot hold. It's going to collapse. But what we are saying is that by the time it will collapse, we want each block to be like in, in able hands. We don't want anarchy to break up in so many places. That's why I'm telling people, organize yourselves. Organize your communities. Organize your people. Organize your different organizations that you have. Begin to talk to your people so that we we'll put our minds together. Because the people that we have in our land currently, we take over when this center collapses. Then the traditional government will be in place Handling the affairs that dare to do a business because we're going to still have our dare to do business going on, and they will have a limited mandate. The traditional government will have a limited mandate and limited time frame to do what they need to do. Within that time, we have a regional referendums, right. and in that referendum, you will vote as the owner of the land to say I'm in or I'm out. Hmm. And then based on that voting, you move on. Then 
Those that are outside will go and develop their constitution and move on and then decide how they want to live. Then you begin your election. It's after that, not before. So we want to read what my sister put up here. He said, ask questions. Ask those lying to you that after they become president in 2023, they will change the sham 1999 constitution. Ask them, brother, sister, <laughs> and uncle. How I'm you... sweating with my hands and my waist, my legs. Let me put my legs up. I'm sweating with the whole body so that we'll, yeah, we'll defend the 1999. <laughs> How will you do this after you have finished swearing? Taking oath of office. Yeah, say, that's how they will come and arrest you the same day. I uphold, <laughs> I defend, I govern by fraud. How will you do it? So stop doing all the more you do, the less you see. You know that ping pong, like an azokwe. Bam, bam, bam. Stop all that okay. We understand the game now. So tell them that we understand the game now. We're the owners of the land. We understand the game now. Come, let's discuss. That's what we're saying. Stop all these lies. Thank you. Stop all the lies, my people. You know, you have the likes of Barry Bay that will go on TV and tell our people that will leave a vacuum when, you know, if they uh, uh, ask the 1999 constitution. Because he's so dumb, because he's so dumb, before, because he's a criminal, I'll call him that. He's the one that went on air. I'm not part of the government. I'm just here. Because he's that dumb, you're allowing the dumbest of them all to represent you. We have it in our Nina's five-point strategy of what to do. Sister AP explained it very well. There will be a transitional government. So don't let a stooge call a baribe or Iberibe. What the hell is his name again? Don't let him go on air and be telling you stories that doesn't make sense. They don't have your interests at heart. They never had their interests at heart. That's why I about look like a shithole country or a shithole location okay. or city. And I bet is busy, but I bet building everywhere, doing nothing for you, telling you I am from dot, dot nation. You know, how course, okay, I see how go the other side. It's time for our young ones to hold these animals accountable. Bring them to the books. Zulu <laughs> cell phone. Let's transfer that anger and remorse towards them. Let's move it. We have no time to waste anymore. The 1999, I mean, the 2023 election is around the corner. They already began to share money. The uh, articles uh, group is reaching out to me, articulate. You know, they're reaching out because that once they see you speaking to our people, they think you're one of the criminals. I will sell you guys out before I sell out my people. They've already started sharing money, speaking English. So don't even think they are waiting for you to close shop. They are not waiting for you to close shop. All right, we have a guest. Actually, not a guest. Somebody came in to bring in his two cents. It's time to call in. Uh, we have the phone number on file. Is it on file <laughs> on the platform? Plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two. Or you can join with the link that we yes. posted earlier. Hi, brother Usoro. How are you? So our very wonderful brother Usuru is joining us today. Hi, brother Sarah. <laughs> Let me see what he has to say. He's always on fire. Go ahead, yes. brother. Let's your two cents today. I just want to say um, a very big thank you to our mothers in the, the USA. It's one thing for you to come out for freedom to talk about the emancipation of people when you are not directly feeling the you know the pains like what we all here are feeling and you continue doing what you are doing you've been consistent uh daughters of truth have been consistent a lot of people were just sitting behind waiting for you to fail <laughs> but uh, you have proved them wrong all the way and um when the motivation you know there are reasons why people go into freedom fighting especially in africa many people indulge into freedom fighting um, because of what they can gain from it, we have seen the, we have seen that uh, again and again in our land here. And um, but here is uh, members of Daughters of Truth coming on air uh, every weekend to talk to our people. Uh, no donor, no nothing, no account numbers displayed here and there. No, um, no ESN phone and no phone and all of that. Okay, uh, but you, yeah, you guys are doing all of this. I want to say God bless you and the passion that uh, had made 
our mothers to continue to do this, to be consistent, is a very strange one indeed. If we all have the same fashion, I think we would have yielded that more results. How many of you out there, the question is, how many of us out there, even here in Nigeria, are truly fighting for freedom without financial incentives, without financial gains or incentives? Um, this is one of the things we are talking about here. They just took the light, so I'm sentenced to darkness or when uh, you have to switch to other alternative. Every time in the, um, in Nigeria, you, you hear of national grid uh, falling, the national grid falling, and it will, you know, if you are not technical, you will think the national grid they are talking about is one complex uh, and thing that it's, it's just bound to fail. Mm -hmm. But it's not a complex thing indeed. It's something that, uh, that reflects the failure of our government. And where we find ourselves. I just want to talk about the topic, the support of the how we are a tool in the hands of the Fulani oligarchy and the Western world. In 1967, I lost my grandfather, I lost my uncle in the Nigerian Biafra War. We've read accounts of Chino Achebe where the, he told us what happened, even the stories of Chimanda Adichie you know, trying to explain the pains and the horror of that uh, um, very uh, movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the world never rallied around the people of Biafra, just like how they are rallying around the people of Ukraine today. We were left on our own, we were left to starve and die. You know, when you hear stories that missionaries, the priests of Ireland, you know, were the ones in coming to do donor, coming to try to feed people with stockfish and all of that, you now begin to imagine how we were left to die. In fact, the, 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 the plans of the Western world was for the people of Biafra to be annihilated, that our resources will be taken and all of that. We were not expected to survive. We have gone through a lot of pains. Politically, we have been uh, 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 shortchanged. You know, a lot of things that happen, it's if we want to start counting the pains that we go through. You Sometime ago, I heard people in Enugu State were using rubbers to look for water, made drinking water. So if people will be looking for drinking water, water to drink, then what, what is the government we are talking about? If a basic commodity as water, People have to use gallons to be going to search for water and all of that. So what is the what are the government really doing? Insecurity here and there. A lot of people have died in the East. Life has been wasted. People that were not meant to die, you know, they died. Nobody give a damn about them. No judicial panel of inquiry. There is no corona inquest. You know, what led to this death? Why? How did they die? Who killed them? But we heard of cows that were killed, cows that died at Abia State, and the governor had to go there and start compensating them because yeah, well, of the lives that valued or because of out of fear. So this just point out to what our people fear the most, the most. What our people, the, the people we are answerable to, our political leaders are answerable to. But who brought them, like the governor of Abia State, who positioned him to be a leader of the people? It's the same people of our, our Abia State who voted for him in the primaries it is the same people the pdp that the people welcome the pdp that the people call you know we are so uh, myopic that we have gone to the extent that we are even telling ourselves that pdp is the party of the east that pdp is our party how does that represent our what are the candidates that these people have given to us that had stood and saved us hmm. so a, a lot of things had happened. A lot of pains had been melted on us. A lot, lot of things. The question is, in all of these things, what has bewitched the people hmm. from making use of their brain? What you said, you, you, they said in, in a, in a uh, local parlance that you can't beat a child and expect the child not to cry it, because it will be abnormal. But do you know that several times, again and again, our people have been beaten thoroughly, beaten to stupor, but yet we have failed to cry. Mm -hmm. We are not crying. Fuel is more than 200 naira per liter. Our people are not crying. 
our people are not trying, even the owners of these oil wells here and there, they are now buying it at an expensive rate, but nobody is talking, nobody is crying about it. Nobody is talking. So tomorrow it gets to 500, nobody is going to talk about it. So the next day I lost an uncle, or the next day I lost a, my father as a result of insecurity or extrajudicial killings by uh, the state-sponsored security personnel, I will come on Facebook and I will shout. And even the viewers will not even feel my pains because we have even lost the ability to feel the pains of our, of our brothers. Honestly speaking, we have lost the ability. You'll be so surprised that you will tell me that your brother or your mother was killed by the police and I will not even have that, that feeling of sympathy towards you because I feel killing is a normal thing. So that's the extent we have gotten to, that our brains have been worked on, our emotions have been worked on, and we are just like zombies in this very uh, part of the world. I, I don't have a solution for anyone. I think all I can say is the day you get tired of life, All right, it looks like he's frozen. He's frozen, my dear. So again, we keep reiterating what look for the nearest the river closer to you. You mm -hmm. can go and look for the nearest river closer to you and you drown there. That is the solution I can really, really, really uh, uh, bring up at this day because a lot of things had, we talked about the constitutional force majority. We said the constitution is not helping. This, 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 these things are not helping. But during the election, you will still see people who will carry voters' card for 2,000 naira to go and vote. And the same people will come back. So the day the pains affect you so much, the day you can no longer endure, you can choose the, you can look for sniper, the, 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 maybe an insecticide or whatever. You take it and you end your life. Mm. Because we have all lost the ability to look for solution. We've, we've, we have, we've talked about this, uh, people come out to talk about this, to talk about the well-being of our people, but yet there is no mass uprising. Yet there is no mass uprising. At, right, right now, in this state where I am, people are gearing or preparing for the next year election. People are gearing or preparing to vote in one man who has eaten enough and has even lost the ability to feel the pains of the ordinary citizens. So this is where we are. We are left at the mercies of those. You talk about political uh, parties. I heard uh, our, sister was, uh, our sister was talking about uh, the, not, the, the legislators are not the solution. The chambers is not the solution. How did these people that you are calling repress, how did Abari be cut to that position? That is the first question. Who voted for him in the primaries? The senators you have, how did they get there that they will now come to think about you? as a common man they are part and parcel of the in the, the wickedness the institution of wickedness that had been planted in our in our in our society today so that's the, the you cannot bring the, the failure of the institution you you are part of that you have not yet denied so how do you want them to bring a change something that is going to bring remedy and destroy what they are part of it is impossible if we are talking for reaching then the political parties have to overhaul they have to so who is going to overhaul the party that he's a part his part and parcel of so I that's what remedy for anyone no solution for anyone all i'm saying is that as long as you can endure endure because it is painful Right now, I'm talking to you. I'm not safe. Saying these things, I'm not safe because one stupid man might just decide to pick interest in all of this. And then, who is this one talking? Who is that one talking? Not knowing that the same thing I'm saying today is a solution for his unborn children or the child that he has in the village. I heard police are, 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 are giving warnings that they will soon go on strike. So, if police go, <laughs> my brother. Yeah, so that's, that's what we're saying. Goes on strike. <laughs> You know, that's what I'm uh, saying, Daniel, because are, he said that... We are, can you hear we are me? suffering in this part of the world. Can you hear me? Can that you hear really me? suffering in this part of the Luna, world. can you hear me? Yes. I, 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 can you, Daniel, can you hear her? Talking. Yeah, so, Daniel, you know, so that's what we're saying. There's a structure in place to take care of all this right now because that center is going to collapse. Police is going to go on strike. Everything is going to collapse because that corruption, those people that we did not vote in, Abaribe, 
He's more interested in becoming governor of Abia State. So he will not help you. He will only work with his party party friends that will help him to put him because it's not the people voting them in. So that those people that he's playing games with, we put him where he will continue. For see, he has been senator for whether 20 years. Now he become governor for another eight years. And when he finished from governor, he become president. So he's a career, career politicians. And we are saying that if we do not take 1999 constitution, we will continue to lament. We are not lamenting anymore. Nina's proposition is here and we are going to use it. And you know what? Uh, sorry, our brother is on phone is, is on phone. Maybe I'll wait for him. Brother Tony, can you hold on while I finish up? Yes, that's fine. Okay. So somebody is in the platform saying, oh, uh, this person is not fighting for your freedom. See, <laughs> nobody is fighting for your freedom. Gone are the days when one man, one woman is fighting for your freedom. You are the one that will understand the proposition on the table. Then you understand your role in it. Our brother, brother Tony, is going to come and say his own aspect of what he's doing with the organization. We are the people. Sovereignty belongs to the people. Nobody is going to fight for freedom for you. No one man will fight for freedom. No one man, one woman will fight for freedom for you. You will understand what we're saying. And that's what we're saying, that any Naya Abaribe that was making false claim on TV that, oh, that if you remove 1999 constitution, there will be chaos, there will be vacuum of governance. That's a lie, like we have said before. Because there is five-point agenda, five-point proposition outlined by Nina's constitutional force major proclamation. And this five-point proposition stipulated the mechanism by which we can put a transitioning process that will meet five two stage inevitable constitutional reconstruction of Nigeria, like they did in South Africa with Kodesa, 1990 to 1940, to, no, 1990 to 1994, where um, Frederick the Clark was the president. He anchored it. So we are going to do the same thing. It's a two-stage constitutional reconstruction anchored on sovereignty and self-determination in parity for the trapped constituent components of Nigeria. So the Yorubas, Igbos will not fight for you. So stop getting agitated. Igbos, Yorubas will not fight for you. Ijo, Igbos will not fight for you. Urobo, Ishekiri, Tiv, um, Idoma, all of you, all the ethnic nationalities is you standing on your ground fighting for your people and your land that we are sharing strategy and we are in alliance because before now if yoruba will go and do it alone the caliphate and the west will circle yoruba and kill them off if you both will try and do it alone like they did in 1967 70 and we lost over three million people they circled us and killed us that's the time they did thief own. They circled thief people and killed them. Because of that, we chose to work in alliance. But that does not mean that me, an Igbo woman, will go and start fighting in Yoruba land. Mm -mm. We are sharing strategy. We are sharing information because we are in this alliance together. We have one con common enemy, the caliphate, the Fulani caliphate, the uh, West, those people that want to take our land. That's what we're saying. We need to understand this strategy so that you don't come to our platform and say, oh, this man is not fighting for freedom. That man, that's childish things of childish way of talking. We are done with childish things. We have moved on to where we, we understand that sovereignty belongs to we, us, the people. And we will do the right thing to make sure that our stolen mandate is restored. Our sovereignty is restored. Thank you. Please, Brad Tony is here uh, from a Ladima uh, NGO, and he will speak to us. Please, Brad Tony, we see. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Aikui. Thanks for having me again. Again, I want to thank you, and Dr. Muna, for the excellent work that you're doing. Uh, I've listened to your broadcast, your exchange with our gentleman, um, and it's so accurate, so supportive of what you're sharing with him. That sovereignty belongs to us, the citizens. And the sooner we understand that, the better. 
and that nobody's going to fight for your freedom. We are the ones that have to take responsibility for our freedom and pursue it. So, like you rightly said, the Igbo man will fight for his own freedom, the Yoruba man will fight for their own, and the German will fight for their own. Absolutely, absolutely. that's exactly what it needs to be. It's a pity, the state of affairs in our country, but what do we do? We still have to take responsibility for it. Um, our own contribution to the uh, to the taking responsibility is the Anadema solution. Anadema is a traditional meeting point in every village in Alibo where we gather and we have a conversation. And so we have created a, a forum, an organization called Anadema, um, and we have a meet a conference on the 25th of, of March and on the 26th of March. It's an opportunity for uh, all Igbos. It's, it's an Igbo organization because we're focusing on the unity and peace in our Igbo. It's an opportunity for all Igbos to come together. The politicians, the aspiring politicians, the students, our mothers, our daughters, you know, um, the freedom fighters. And even among the freedom fighters, we have those who are saying, oh, let's go for presidency. You know, people like Abari Bamko. Uh, we have like Ojiz Okali and Co. We have those who are saying, let's go for development, like Professor Mwala. And cool. I will have those who are saying, no, we need our freedom. You know, we have to have our freedom. Once you get our freedom, then, you know, we can look at all of this. So all of these people from all over the world, they are welcome to Aladema, where we're going to have a full and frank conversation. On the 25th, our speaker is Professor Chido Swagbo, you know, who is a professor of philosophy and science. He'll be talking to us on Friday. Uh, it's 8 o'clock, 8 to 10 p.m. He'll speak for 30 minutes, and at the end of 30 minutes, he will take questions so that we can interrogate his ideas and see, you know, what he's telling us to do with the way to go. Uh -huh. So, which is the way we do it in Aladema and Alibo. Uh, and then on Saturday, we're going to have uh, our sister uh, ambassador, uh, Uche Okeke, you know, you know, who's an ambassador of Nigeria to uh, Brussels and uh, many countries around the world. And she was speaking to us as well as the traditional ruler. So that's the program. Uh, to know more, please go to aladima.org. Aladima will spell it with double M, A L A D I N, double M A, aladima.org. That's our website. If you go to aladima.org, you will see all the information there. Um, and then you can register and you can attend. It's a Zoom conference, so you can do from the comfort of your home. And then, you know, by the end of it, you come with your questions, come with your own solutions. So we'll have a platform for us to talk. Um, our focus, now, Lajima, is, is the unity and peace of Ngibo. You know, I was sharing with uh, our friends that the way that the Fulanese and, and the Britain has manipulated us over the years is to cause division. And once you cause division amongst the people, you can manipulate them and you can conquer them. So, and so for us as Ndibo, that's our focus is unity. We need to look at, make sure we are working in unity and we're working, preaching peace. We're not going to kill each other. We're going to talk to each other. We're going to have a conversation. You will speak, I will listen to you with respect. And at the end, I'll ask you questions. I'll keep my mouth shut and then you will answer and so on and so forth. So, and that way we can have a civil conversation about our, our people, our future, and how where we go from there. So that's Aladima in a nutshell, Dr. Ifi. Thank you so much, Brother uh, Tony Misi. Um, thank you for having. Um, we are glad that you were here to explain to our people, and um, we wish you all the best in your endeavor and all you're doing for our people. All right. Thank you, okay. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Take care. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. Someone, please go ahead. All right, thank you so much for that. So, if anybody else wants to call in, the number is plus seven, uh, plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two. Uh, we do recognize that some of our people's brain are still sort of twisted, and this platform may not be for everyone to tell you the truth. So, if you are not matured enough to have matured conversation, you know, you don't need to be here. This is not a playground for children. No. We're talking about national politics. We're talking about national security. We're talking about constitution. We're talking about our future generations to come. So it's not for everyone. We're looking no. for matured mind. People that have things at stake. You have given birth. I have four children. And I'm looking to have a place, a space where they can 
either decide to leave you or live in their father's land. That's the kind of atmosphere that I want to create. And if you are still running in the forest, you know, using a bottle to throw a bomb, uh, this place may not be for you. You know, wait till you get yourself back. Join your miscreants on the other side. Uh, when you want to have an adult conversation, like like our uh, thing said, adult behaving like adults, then you can come to this platform to learn more. So as you come on, please, if you understand the process, you are the adult we're looking for. But basically, we're looking for a change agent. You know, if you're a change agent, help us to share this message, help us to make it go across, because we want to connect the dots. We want the, for you to see how the puzzles are put together, then they will make sense to you. Because we kept saying that the 1999 constitution is the problem. And our people are, do, do you not know, say, the more we look, the less we see. They will tell you, oh, it's okay to be a good government, a good governance, and be a governor. When you are busy being a governor, they are creating local government rules that will take the power from you and hand it to the local government, who is now answerable to Asorok. Can't you see what they are doing? Yes, you have a governor that you thought you voted for. If the local governments are not working with the governor, what kind of governor do you have then? So we're trying to make sense of all the things that is going on because either our people are too hungry, they are too hot. You know, I heard there is a heat wave going on. They are too thirsty. There are so many vices against our people that they are not able to sit down and put all these things together. And like I usually tell my friends, God put us here for a reason. We were here for a season like this. And thank God that we answered our lost, uh, 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 what is it called, divine uh, strategy to be part of this process. So I'll go here to explain to you guys what is going on so that you're not confused. So you're not thinking, oh, yeah, the reason why my people are suffering no more is because we don't have uh, Aladdin, Mal I mean, um, uh, Akurula. Let's go and build Akurula. Which kind of Akurula that you're building when every night they're packing full of knees and giving them passport and dropping them in your land? Without security, I could get a rule or before it drops on the ground, it will disappear. Hmm? First things first, let's take down the 1999 constitution, stop these politicians from taking us on a merry go round. And then once we get all this situated, following the Nina's five point agenda, then you can rule everything. I will bring my retirement and I got wiggy and all that. Please, let's make sense of what is going on here. We're not here to call names. We're not here to point finger. We're here to discuss the matters of the heart, things that is important to us. Our brother is here talking about Alema, trying to gather our people because they are all over the place. When we told them that whoever that is bringing them freedom is bringing them a, a, a scorpion in a, in a container, they, they we are being called names. This I show you guys had the other day. We, we even have a t-shirt called Ashaw. Because we got so much a shower name and we put it in the front and put it in the back. Because what else can you call us? What else all we want is for you to live your best life. I want you to take, look at my neighbor, go up one kitty and I got, take your dog and take you for a walk and go look at the lake and come back and drink your coffee. Is that a, can my people have that? Is that too much to ask for? I'm not worried about somebody shooting you or taking your name and running you down. You will sit in the house the other day, children will order food. I'm here thinking, hey, I'm not going to cook for them. They will suffer. Before I knew it, one walk out all that food and somebody drop it in front of the house. I can't even punish them anymore. Can my people get that? Can I give that comfort to my people? Why are you guys see yourself as so undeserving? Why do you guys suffer yourself? Why is it that we're telling you that this is heaven? I know you all are listening to all kinds of stuff because we go online. And our people are everywhere but except the one place that they need to be to bring freedom. Hmm? Even when you're school in America and get all your degrees, you're working for somebody else. They will be playing politics with your brain. He can easily you resort to either coming to your house to be a king or going to some type of African party and joining people's club and our guru. Kaibri wind, Uruwe Chai, Maria, I can make you Kaibri wind because you have been defeated. So you go as a room with Kibri wind, Uruwe Chi, Mara, he can make you Uruwe Chi, you go quite the same Kaibri wind, Uruwe Chi, Mara, he can make you Kibri wind. You see how irresponsible that is? How? Who won't know the tenor? The third Nora, this is not that difficult. He said, no brainer. Stop being so shallow. Stop being so shallow. Sister, go ahead while I pull up this class. <laughs> you know, the beauty of it is that 
those that are not waking up, there's bazooka. <laughs> waking them up because we've been here warning our people. When we warn them about what's going to happen in the South is because we heard when they were planning it. And we said, they are going to turn your land to Somalia. We came mm. here about two years ago, consecutively warned our people. They said, don't call them, don't call them, just do your own. And like you said, they were here calling us names and our business. Some of those people typing nonsense to us two years ago are all dead. They have been destroyed and killed. But we were here as mothers, warning them, crying sometimes. We cried a few times while we are begging our children that where you're going, there's no outlets. There's some girls who pass here in the U.S. They'll say, no outlets. If you enter, it's not leading anywhere. We told our people. We said there's no road. But they continued. And they decided to put their head where their head will be consumed. And some have been consumed. And at this point, we're still saying, even now, we can still turn around. We can turn around. That's why our brother, uh, um, Tony Nwisi, came to tell us what Aladima is doing. Please go and we send the we send the links out. Aladima, go and join that platform so that you'll be part of the discussion going on. It's already going on. And we don't like the idea of um, people calling names. You have called these names forever out of your ignorance and you're dying. That's immature. Please. We want you to learn. When we bring out things, send out links, read them. You see the beautiful, um, the beautiful uh, 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 <laughs> design that my sister put up here. You know, we take on point. We go over and beyond, trying to beautify, just to give you an idea that we are able, not we as two of us, but we as the people. We are able, we have learned enough to build our land. Let's stop allowing nitwits, if you may, to take us for a ride. We are able to fix our land. We have gone to fix other people's lands. We are the ones walking everywhere. The healthcare system of America is held by your Nigerians, Igbos and Yorubas majorly. Why can't we reproduce it in our land? We can. We are able. So please, let's stop running up and down. And we beg those that do not know. Because, you know, all fingers are not equal. There are certain things I don't know. This is all legal stuff. I learned it from uh, Barrister Tony Nadi because I'm not a lawyer. But I knew I didn't know. And I went to learn. It was one month crash program. We have said it, 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 it several on this platform. That brother Tony refused to talk to us. If we ask him questions, he said, you've not read the documents. Hell! And the documents were many. He asked them what they said. You still have not read the documents. If you've read it, you'll not even ask this question. We had no choice but to go and sit down, study, and read other materials. There's some books I bought. There's one, one thick book I've, on, on, on Biafran War. I've not even fully reading it. But if you don't read these things, you will not understand the situation you are inside so that you understand the solution. So please go ahead, Sister Mona. Thank you. Hmm, my dear, love, love can do so many things. I don't know why we have so much love for our people, but you know, it is what it is. God has she God must have his reasons why he said, Mona Chi and Ifi, you must love your people. I don't care. You don't care if some people think they are marked for death. One of my friends, Igbo friend, he said, Why are you trying to help people that are marked for death? <laughs> so some people think that my, my people are marked for death, but I don't see it that way. I see I love my people. I love my brown people. It's not just the Igbos. I love my brown people. Anything brown is like I'm all brown. I'm all about brown. I'm all about brown people doing the right thing, helping each other. And when we talk about getting this our freedom, it's not even just for us. It will help even the so-called so Fulani. They will stop migrating every help we say migrate. It will help our TV people that is under siege. So we are not even doing this just for our own. We're saying, can we have a space? where we respect each other and other people respect us and we respect other people. Like since they we see, uh, we say live and let's live, right? 
or the the uh, the Hollywood person or Hollywood person guys. See, if you don't let me leave, I will shoot you. The 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 evil, right? Where Belu go, Belu? In case you do, Ben and Kupa, you will help the Kutoka. So it's <laughs> funny guys. So we are not looking to bother anybody, but we just want it to be okay for brown people. I don't really think God meant for us to suffer. For how many years now? Have you ever seen any place? Everywhere you see a black person, go and turn on YouTube because people are showing videos of everywhere in the world that you've never heard about. Anywhere black people gathered, the only common theme you see there is suffering. Whether you see them hiding in Colombia, you see them hiding in uh, uh, Puerto Rico, you see them has hiding in Costa Rica, anywhere you see problem. This is black people's community. Fire, death. And I don't think God wants that for us. No. We just need to understand what is doing us so that we will know how to prefer a solution that will work for us. Yeah. In our case, God went to it something years ago while we were sleeping, dancing, I go chop your money. And every window, while I did the window, somebody went and did the work. Mm. We have a phone call. Oh, Hello, my brother. Good morning. Go ahead. Good morning, my sisters. Good morning. Good morning. You, can't, you can't just leave your sisters alone, right? <laughs> I say my sisters and the viewers as well. No, no, no. I'm just fully your name. And everybody that has uh, called in. Thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. I just want to appreciate you guys because it's not easy. It's not about, uh, you know, you have really to speak. This mm -hmm. is real. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you guys can do it so well. Mm -hmm. As I believe you were talking, I guess you moved the call to Manasha Bank. I'm going to be more of I'm coming from Los Angeles. So <laughs> please, uh, uh, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes you know, not as an anonymous, and I'm down there. People who have come to Jewel Street, the mind, the bush. You know, three the mind, I just have an abush. Abush. It's unfortunate that the strangers are taking over our land, and we are proudly coming out on the social media to be boosting. And that, uh, if you want to see us, you come to the bush. I mean, what does that mean? And that uh, somebody uh, can come to your program here to, yeah, for no, any other travel on freedom. I mean, um, that I don't, I don't intend to keep you guys going because I know there's time frame for all that you're doing. I just want to, uh, you know, be a part of this process and I'll continue to stay. We are going to meet at that point. I love what my brother Tony is doing with the Nina, not just him, but a lot of people are involved. Um, I love what Yaladima is uh, beginning to say. Uh, and I'm um, you know, very uh, kind of excited uh, with the, the guest speaker that day, uh, Suabu. I have been watching. I've watched so many of the series. A lot of things he made. He said, "Make sense." And I can't wait for this uh, um, coming together to be because we have all the Ghana so grammar. Mm -mm. Uh, we need to come together, which is a part that was agreed that this is what we are going to do. We are all going to do it together. Amen. Yes. Uh, yes. Very clearly, the issue of constitutional, uh, constitution being taken down is <laughs> obvious because uh, none of us were there when they put these um, documents together. Oh, oh brother, brother Bidi, brother yeah, Bidi, even, yeah. even when our, the new governors are taking, you know, uh, taking seat, they are swearing to protect the 1799 constitution. That is in danger in all of this. When we don't close shop, can you, can you see you need to work with that? I, I, I'm believing that the people give them the mandate, but mm -hmm. you know, let's give them for me. I'm beginning to see, you know, because sometimes when people are speaking, 
you may see the truthfulness behind what they are saying. Yeah. I think you mentioned that people came out for Biafra because they, they want freedom. Yes. But the politicians hijacked it. Mm -hmm. We are hoping that this guy will not be hijacked by, you know, the Abuja, you know, masters. Mm. Okay, because that's all I'm looking for. All I'm looking for is if a guy the that's all. Uh, for the brothers that are still hopping up and down, talking about that. You cannot give the people what they want. You cannot do anything. You say, how can you say when you don't have security? So you know that you don't have security. So what are you doing there? Okay. okay. I'm not saying, I'm just paraphrasing what he said. I understand. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, brother. So this guy knew very well that he cannot represent the people. Yes. He's not allowed to represent people. He cannot represent the people. So why are you going there taking money and coming okay. back? people yes okay some of the things he did can be attributed to some of the, this boys you know i can even i was that is because true you know of course one of yes now some of these guys now got to talk it will my guess you know you will not exactly now two days ago he was just saying, he just said that they cannot do anything, that they don't have the security. So they're going around people you don't you don't even trust. Okay, you're going around people and pretending for your people. Okay, I like what he's saying. And then uh, these are some of the things that we all going to consider. We did a juba ajju because this is I don't, know, I don't know where we are now, honestly. I don't know what we're doing. And this is why I said I'm not going to condemn anybody. Except no, no, but Obidi, we cannot that. be we cannot be confused at this time. We are clear on what we are doing. We know where we are going. So exactly. that's the difference. Exactly. We we exactly. know where we are going in the sense that you made a perfect example because when I gave you the the Saludos example, you wanted to sort of be soft on it. 
But I'm telling you, when you go there and say you swear to defend, pretend, and protect, and declare, and all that stuff, you can't, you'll be right, all you're doing is as you're swearing and declaring this, and you're tying your hands. You can't turn around and try to fix the same 1999 constitution that you swore to, to protect and, and defend. Yes. So we are not even talking about Saludo. We are not talking about in general. No, but no, it's an example. It's an example. Saludo will be an instrument to help him to hold up in our area while this uh, move for 2023 uh, will take place. Why not? At least. I think no, no, I think I think you're mistaken. Uh, you're, mis you're, you're mistaking what? the example. You're, you're mistaking the example uh -huh. that I'm giving you. What I'm saying is that you know, so of course he have to do whatever, whatever he's doing. But what I'm saying is that this is even more the reason more we cannot afford to go to 2023 election, right? Because they will never be able to do anything for us, even at a national level. When they swear to defend that constitution, if we allow them to come in for that 2023, then they are in the same position, like the same salute. We are not going anywhere. Yep. So we, what this whole thing is doing is to convince our people to say, oh, is this what these people are saying all along? Mm -hmm. that if we allow election to go through, that people able to in will now have to swear to the same thing that we are trying to uh, uh, ask. The and they cannot change it. If they you swear to it. it but he already swore to it. That's the point. It's not necessarily we're picking, pointing him. We're using him as an example of what happens when these people go to, you know, go to vote and pretend like they are coming to help us that they are not. Because when you swear, you literally tie your hands on that baby. Even the cameraman that was holding him, as soon as he said, "I swear," I'm, he, his camera almost fell off his hand. Yes, now because he's like, oh, and then, and because you, you cannot are... help us, you I step don't... aside so that we help ourselves. Maybe... Don't stand on our way. Just, um, it's near home is great when, when the hunger comes, okay? Because it's supposed to be here right now. For no, no, now, no. we're still we're, there. No, 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 no. no. We, are, we are not holding no, him. What we are that's saying, my, I have a different perspective. No, no, no. no let's let's explain so that you understand. We're not calling people. him out. The example that okay. we're trying to set here is that when we allow election to take place especially at the national level that they will be in the same position soludo is which yes. is to swear and protect and, and defend uphold. and uphold 1999 constitution There's so what this 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 he's swearing indeed is to bring it to the forefront for our people to understand why we cannot afford to go to that election because they will have to swear into something that they cannot go back to undo for us not so that, 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 that Saludo will not be okay, Moses. Okay, I'm not okay. saying that Saludo will not be Moses. He will not help our people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you see yeah. that they are dragging us on to the election in order to swear to the same constitution that is killing us. Uh, and mind you, Saludo is oh, working in Anambra State. He's not stopping the killing in Northeast. Because my, my argument also enabled you to clarify because a lot of ways we Thank you is saying something. I don't know. I can't hear. No, no, no. I'm saying eh, I said that if we were saying something. Can she's, you hear she's me? speaking. She's speaking. Go no, ahead. Okay, go ahead. No, I was just saying eh, that you know uh, uh Soludo is just in Anambra state. He has not changed what is happening in Enemo State. Him being in Anambra State has not changed what is happening in northeast, northwest. The killings will continue, all those things will continue. Anambra State just won out of 36 states. It so the change we seek is the change, total change that will affect every other person everywhere. Not a sporadic change, one corner change, one spot change. No, the entire thing needs to be overhauled and changed so that everybody at once we move into that uh, new generation, that civilized world that we are talking about. We don't, we don't, we don't want to wait for another hundred years for one local government to receive a good chairman. One state will receive good, good. My, my sister, I got it. I got it. I'm not grieving for anybody. You understand what I'm saying? That you know, it goes with what has been said here by. I think I brought the discussion. What uh, my Diego of a guy said sometimes, uh, the general my Diego, where he was, he, he said that every of this component part of. 
Nigeria. All these nations that are lumped up together in Nigeria are suffering. The only difference between us and them is that we are we don't want to be a part of the suffering. And yes. that's why we are up front, mm -hmm. shouting ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he also said, he also positioned that if this component part of Nigeria wants to be free, everybody needs to come out and liberate themselves. And which is exactly what we, everybody that is listening, this is not a question of, am I almost do, I'm here to I'm ego, I'm a job, this and that. Every, because all of us are suffering. Everybody is suffering. And we cannot do it alone as uh, their friends. We cannot do it alone as almost do well. We cannot do it alone as we uh, do well. That's why Nina is the overarching movement. But can your people understand this? That is the key. So we'll continue. That's why whenever I see you guys here, I come out to appreciate what you're doing. Because Nina, Nina is the umbrella of all these nations that are lumped in Nigeria that are supposed to come out and say, enough of this. Let us stop this charade. And everybody in their component class will stop all their so-called politicians. We are yes. identifying that the, 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 the clowns we have in the South East are not politicians. They are all criminals. Mm -hmm. So what, what if, if they cannot represent us, why are they going there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we cannot do it for the Edo people. We cannot do it for the uh, Yoruba people as well. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. have to come out and do the year. Mm -hmm. And we do out and every the the, 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 the goal will score the goal together. Yes. So, um but yes. anyway. Thank you. Understand I'm Thank glad you. you guys explained the Thank uh, you. We appreciate you. We <laughs> yeah. appreciate so you. That that all people can understand as well. Yes. I, I was when you presented the clip, I was looking at it from a different point of view. But now you make your point clear. Uh, I just want to say. And I will, will explain like, also, Brother B. We want to explain something because sometimes. Uh, okay. must remember you all. Amen. And, and I pray for the last blessings on you as you continue to walk in that kingdom. Not just pray, but you are already working to make sure that people of God are delivered. Thank you very much. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Bye bye. Thank you so much. So our people sometimes when we use people as example, it's like when we call Abaribe, like you heard Obi he say, Abaribe was the one that would go and visit uh, those that are doing a uh, funeral, burying their mother and their father, and to identify with them, show our people the courage as if he's identifying with them. But all he's doing is because of his as aspiration to be governor of Abia State. He's not fighting the freedom with you. Our people will now misunderstand and think that he's fighting the freedom with them and then do certain things that will lead to their death. The okay. same thing with this Soludo. Soludo received the Nina's proposition ever before for years. But what did he do with it? He danced around it, navigating around it because of his ambition to become governor of Anambra State. Now he has got his ambition, his personal ambition, he has got it. But guess what? He has also sworn to defend the 36 states that they used to divide Ndibo. He has also sworn to defend the 774 local governments that they used to pieces and conquer Ndibo. He has also sworn to uphold and defend the 68 items on the exclusive list that they oh, used oh. to hold us down. He has sworn to uphold and defend all these things. And all these things standing on that falsehood and that we, the people, have submitted ourselves to, into the caliphate bondage. That's what he just did. Saying that he uphold that we, the people, have agreed to sub, submit ourselves to caliphate bondage. That's what he did. We are not just talking, you know, sometimes because of we, how we will understand and explain to you so that you understand. It's not an individual war. We're not fighting about it. It's not individual. We don't have anything to do. I don't know him. I don't know about him. I don't want to know him either. What am I doing with them? 
Are they feeding me? No. I eat my food, sleep. Like my sister would say, we love to sleep. We go to work, come back, we're tired. Not to sleep and think and have good dreams. Yes. So it's not a personal thing. However, we must understand that this is our, about our collective destiny. So why you're oh, we cannot be emotional about it. No, we can't be emotional about it. Mm -hmm. What you're singing and dancing and saying, yes, he has won it, it's done. This is the implication of what you are doing. That's what we're here to tell you. The implication is that you will continue to be in bondage. That the way this one was done is the way they will do it at national level. And those people that will tell you that, wait for us first, let's finish, you will not change it. You have sworn to keep it. How will you change it? So when to change it is now. To us. And wants to help us. To come out of full and new bondage. When to liberate us is now. Not after we vote you in. Not after you conduct the election. It's now. When we now finish changing, we cannot go and vote you in. Not after. It hey! Now. That's what oh. we're saying. This bondage has to be destroyed now. Let me give you an idea of what we tell you to share. Like when we tell you share, share. There's somebody we met recently. I don't, I don't even know him recently, um, um, face to face. But I, I, I got to know him through somebody sending his phone. I sent this video to him. Look at what he said. He said, thanks for sharing. This is the greatest gift I have received in so many years. God bless you. See, it, it's on my phone. I don't know this person. But I, so I did something, you know, and someone sent me. I just sent randomly. He watched the video. He said, thank you. He doesn't even know me. And he doesn't even know that I'm part of the people being the video. Just that video alone and the information coming from it. He said this is the best gift he has received in years. Mm -hmm. Please. I got, I got one from someone, Mohammed, too. I got See? one from one, Mohammed. Saying share. Mm -hmm. Please, share. Like, follow. You are part of this team. As you're making our people to understand, stop sharing where they're dancing naked. Somebody is crying. The husband slap her. She's on the Facebook crying. Oh, 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 oh. You're sharing 20 million views. You are destroying your own destiny. Share this information so that our people will know. We'll read this to you again. This is Amadou Bello. He said, the new nation called Nigeria. So that you don't be confused. He mentioned Hello. the name. The new nation, this is after they've received the so-called independence. He told his people, he said the new nation called Nigeria. That's why you see Fulanese that are going with radio in their ear. They educated their people for years. But our own people, we are listening to AIT channels where they brainwash you and turn your brain upside down with information. Now it's really English. Or with disinformation, not even information. Now it's really English. So this man here is what he was telling his people. Say, this new nation hey. called Nigeria should be an estate of our great grandfather Usman Danfodio. We must ruthlessly prevent a change of power. We use the minorities of the north, the minority of the world that mean the Middle Belt people, because that's why they carved them into Middle Belt, so that they will come become minorities. Just like they made Nigeria uh, Igbos to become minority. When they divided you into different states, small, 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 small here, or, or, automatically you become a, a political minority and you will be conquered. So far you are in that setting of 36 states where they pieces you everywhere. You can't come together. Because that's the aim, so that they can you become political minority and you will never come together as one force to do anything they're doing. They know what they did. So he said, We must use the minorities of the north as willing tools, willing that you are the one willingly submitting yourself to be used. Yeah, and you yeah. have the choice to say, I'm not going to do this thing anymore. Even Fulanese understand that they are conquering you, but you are willing. It's like when we have domestic violence. For domestic violence, whether the man is the one slapping the woman or the woman is the one slapping one, one is giving, one is receiving. You have condition to give. Another person has condition to receive. You that you're receiving can make up your mind and say, hey, enough. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to receive your slaps. I don't want to receive your maltreatment. That is what the, why they're called the willing tools. So you say that these are willing tools and they serve as a conquered territory. Your territory is conquered. That's why you, you have oil in South South. But bias, um, um, the man in Sokoto owns the oil block. 
That thing you hear oil block, it's not block. Oh, I walk on blockage alone. <laughs> it's the old land that they divided into blocks and made their people to be estate owners of your land. They share the land. They will say, Abdul Salam, this is your block. Um, Kadafi, who? This is your block. They own your land and then they destroy it and your children die. Are you a responsible adult? Are you a responsible parent? So they say the South is a conquered territory and never allow them to rule over us and mm. never allow them to have control over their future. Hey, wickedness at the highest level. And we are telling you that 1999 constitution mm. is the dark connection to this statement. This statement, the, 19, the imposed 1999 constitution is what connects this statement to your destiny. So we are not here for, oh, Solude, is she wearing Ankara? Is he wearing Akwacha? Or is he wearing Akwete? That is not my problem. That's not why I come here. You know, whether Abaribe is wearing the shoe they made in Aba, that is not my problem. My problem is that there is a bondage. My people are under bondage. And this evil book called 1999 Constitution is holding my people down. And my people are being willing partners by following them to go and do election. Under this 1999 constitution, conducted by INEC, owned by Fulani Caliphate, championed by West. Is this not easy to understand? He has some real do easy. Eh, well. The day you wake up to this truth is the day your freedom begins. And please stop calling names. Oh, this, you're not fighting for freedom. You are the one that will fight for it. And we're not telling you to go and use stone and bottle and start hitting people. It's brain work. We work together. And they will get this job done in weeks. In weeks, if you can get this job and stop this 2020 23 election, this is the one holding their neck. That's why they are fighting like anything. Yes, the officials want to make sure that it goes, but you are the one that will say no, politician. This thing that Bishop Obina of what they said, go and say, see what he said, amplify it. And make sure that all your pastors and all your church leaders are saying the same thing. Any church that is not saying the same thing, I don't know what you should do to the church and to the leader. Mm. You have brain. Do what you want to do. But we are saying everybody must comply. Everybody must comply and say, we are not going to 2023 election. We want the change now. Don't give us the change of Buhari. Meanwhile, it's chain. We want the change before 2023. And it can be done this year. Let's do it this year. And then we can do what you want. Remember, we are the people. We are the owners of the land. Sovereignty belongs to us. The resources belong to us. We own the land. The politicians are the employees. We are the employers. We say what happens, not the politicians. We tell the politicians jump and they say how high. That's the power we have. That's the authority we have. Let's use it. Thank you very much. Thank you, my sister. Wow. Wow. It's a good one today. I hope my people that I love so much, that are my people that are so dear to my heart, that are my people that keeps me up awake at night, but are people that I think about every moment of the day. Every time, extra food, I'm like, I wish I can get, get this to my people. We went to Sam's the other day, they are chicken that they bake, they're going to throw it away. All I'm thinking, oh, I wish I can ship this to my people. Oh, there's this. If, if you see my garage, you'll run away. Every time I'm thinking, how can I send this thing home? Let's send it. Let's not throw it away. Oh, please, it can get home. You got, We love you guys that much. And there is no other, there is no other ulterior motive but not love. Nothing else but love. We come here as mothers that are doing, that want the best for their children, only for you to understand the proposition on the table so that we can move. Because you see, you vote them in, they will have to swear to that 1999 constitution. And we're telling you that they're saying that they will never allow you to control your future. Can't you get that? Isn't that what we have witnessed all our lives? Have we seen anything good come from that country or nation called Nigeria, the new nation that Amadi Bello mentioned 
in 19 brigade. Have we ever seen anything good come out of it? Yeah, and I know the worst stories of our lives. The more you the, the more you look, the short you go blind, you can't even look, talk less of seeing less. Can't you see that we need to make sure that people understand this proposition on the table? And like we say on this show, we have been gathered in churches, in our village meetings, in our boys, old boys association uh, organizations. Can we share this information? This is our aha moment. This is it or nothing else. Don't let any swearing in and slapping out and this, 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 this to deceive you. They will even arrest you at the airport. As soon as you be finish the looting, they will arrest you at the airport while you're trying to fly to go in one of your high rise in, in, in Houston, Texas. They will arrest you at the airport. We are going on a merry-go-round where we have a solution to switch off the light. Here we are like this. And we are done. Why are we acting like our hands cannot reach the electric light to turn off the light? Why? Oh, my people. I don't know what else to say for you guys. But my love will linger because that's what I was born for this. I was born to love my people. We will continue to shout. We will continue to pray. We will continue to enlighten. We will continue to bring your attention to things that matter. Because there are so many things that matter. If not, we need, you know, things like everywhere. There are things that are, that are dear to us. So we can no longer wait. Like we showed you on our... Um, on our PowerPoint, when you vote these people in, what else are you uh, doing? Once you swear them in, I'll finish up here. Once you swear them in, they have to uphold, defend, and govern the, by the Sham 1999 Constitution. They will never be able to scrap it because it go haka. Aka ha lock go up. So Ihana and Emel is to fulfill their own political ambition. They are not there to help our people. They don't even get it. They have gotten their degrees and this and this, working for Wall Street and World Bank and the Trade Center and all of them. And my people are drying at the Mediterranean Sea. And then Christmas, they will come and massage our pains with bag of rice, onions, na diesel oil. Ihana Hannah, solid English. And they too, haha. Iran, she, they will join people's club. Go around the Kaibri window. Rich, I am, I am, I meet you, Kaibri window. If you allow election 2023 to happen, the winner will continue the status quo. So if you want self determination for the ethnic nations, then we must halt the 2023 election in order to have the transitional government with regional referendums. This is in the Nina's five point agenda. The good thing about what we are doing is that we put out there for you to, to, to look at, to assess and ask the pertinent questions. We are not hiding it. I know we are not commanding and controlling you. We are putting out our propositions out there for you to see and ask us questions so that we'll be able to address it, you see. So please join us. If you're a change agent, join us. If you um, understand what it takes to gain your people's freedom, join us. Read the document. Understand the doc. If you don't want to read the document, watch our show. That's why we come here to break it down. Because in my opinion, the document, we are not going to lie. We almost uh, didn't read it until Brother Tony said, uh -uh. if you want to talk to me, go read it. Not normally a Nigerian way of free. It's like you must read it. So why in there are saying English? Because I'm mama, so I, I don't I can't speak Igbo, I can't speak English, that's even the worst. You people that know how to speak English, because all that tone will turn on Bruno the document to go on under the thing. Eh? You've already told us you're a professor, your professor emeritus, you're this one. Begin to read the document so that you stop lying to our people. We have our information on here. Visit us at www.thedotasubtrue.org. We have wealth of information there. Yeah, our phone number is up there as usual. We are always, always looking for a change agent and so that you can join those who know road to freedom. Ninas is the only way out, my people. You know, case of you know, those days are gone. We want to do what works because people are dying. Us now, now, nobody is dying. Maybe we can play around, but people are dying. This is a case of a matter of uh, life and death case that we are dealing with. So we'll see you guys next week.
with your love. Please help, help, help us to share. We heard that you're supposed to be pushing the like buttons or the love buttons or whatever as you're watching. You know, get this information around for our people to understand. We are not against Soludo. We are not against anybody. We are for our people. You know, that's it. We are for our people. That's where we're going with this. So anyone doing anything that is not for our people, then we will, we, your name will be called out. It's just that simple. So we'll see you guys next week. Help us to continue to share, get this out there to our people. We just want freedom, freedom for Soludo, freedom for Mama and Kechinere Rice down the street. That's it. We don't want all this in in politics going on. Onion calls on the way up here. Onion calls on right here. It's not like the people not down there are not trying, you know, but they have put things in place for you not to even get your heads up. So we we'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much, Brother Beauty. Thank you, our viewers. Thank you to Disney. Thank you for every one of you guys that come up here every weekend, no matter what, to come and watch us, uh, our brother, EC Momodu. Yes. We love you guys. Continue to help us to share, 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 share. We'll see you all next week, okay? Bye.